I'm also going to broadcast it. Hi, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, and what we do is we help you make more sales with less effort. And the reason I'm here today is because of revenue talks. You know, have you ever wondered how can I, as a business owner, make more sales with less effort? Have you ever wondered how can I really attract my target audience? Um, I was talking to someone recently. And they said, Shay, where are all the qualified folks who can afford my service? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever wondered what can I do right now in my business in order to instantly increase more sales? And that's the reason why I'm here today because sometimes you just have to make a change. Sometimes you have to do something just a little bit differently. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about because today I'll be talking about three ways to increase your sales results. Three ways. One way two-way and three-way and sometimes it means that we've got to change a few things that we're doing and if that's you right now and I want you to pay very very close attention because I'm going to reveal the number one dream of small business owners yep it's right here baby the number one dream of small business owners but I'm gonna ask you to make a change I'm gonna ask you to shift a little bit of your thinking see I was recently just last week I was over at Washington Hospital Center and I walked in to go into Dr. Francisco King's office. That's my primary physician. He's been my physician now since 2001. An amazing guy, incredible guy. And I was there because I had a problem. Just like you might have a problem now in your business. You want to generate some instant revenue. Well, I had a problem with my health. Um, the problem is I'll, I'll just have a conversation with you. You and I, we're hanging out now. My sinuses were bothering me. Now I've had sinuses since I was born, but this season I've been to see Dr. Francisco King three times, three times. And each time I've gone in there, he's given me an antibiotic. And the antibiotic was amoxicillin, I believe it's called. And that was helping me out. But this time he said, Shay, you have chronic allergies. Okay, what does that mean, Doc? I know I've had allergies. What does that mean? Help me out. I'm going somewhere now. I'm going somewhere because I'm going to teach you there are three ways to really increase your sales results. This is under Revenue Talks. But right now, it's myself and Dr. King. He said, Shay, you have chronic allergies. I said, Doc, what are we going to do? He says, I'm going to send you to see Dr. McCletchen. Why? Because he is a specialist in helping with allergies and asthma. Now, my doctor is a primary physician. He's been doing this for many, many, many years. So he's now sending me to a specialist. Why do I tell you that? Because it's possible that you work with business coaches, you work with consultants, you work with marketing advisors, you work with social media experts. You've been studying and working hard in your business. You have a degree and yet you're not generating the revenue you want as fast as you want with less effort. So it's time to talk to a specialist. Hence, Shay Brown, the sales cardiologist where we get to the heart of your sales problem. And that's all I do is live, breathe, and sleep sales. So I'm glad we're in this conversation. I'm glad we're talking about revenue. I'm glad this is our revenue talks. And there are three ways to really increase your instantly your sales results. Let's look at way number one. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to the big idea. Small biz owners have one big dream. I'm gonna get to that, I'm gonna get to that. But first, let's look at number one. You ready? What's the first thing you can do in your business right now? Number one. The biggest challenge that a number of small business owners have today is just attracting the right type of clients. See, if they get in front of more qualified folks, they're going to make more sales. But they need prospects who have a problem. Jot this down in your notes. You want to first attract. Put this in your notes. People will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. So let's be in the problem solving business. We're not looking for anybody to just buy our products and services. All we want to do is what? Offer them an opportunity to know that we can solve a problem. So first we gotta get them to raise their hand. We gotta get them to text in. We gotta get them to register on our page. We've gotta track. And for some of you, this means there has to be a mindset change. I was talking to Lisa, I recall. She's down in Alabama. We were having a conversation. She's a business coach. Hey, might be like you, or maybe you're a speaker. Maybe you're an author, maybe you're a coach. This conversation's for you around revenue talks. And she said, Shay, there aren't anyone out there right now that can really use my services. Now she does business consulting. She helps them get their brand together. So she does something similar that we do. And I said, that's virtually impossible. You can attract the right people. Let's shift 
Let's have a shift in our mindset. So let me give you three things you can do right now. You might want to jot these three things down in your notes just to have a mindset shift around attracting the right type of prospects. Now Lisa took me up on this mindset shift. She had bought some tools and some gadgets and some bells and some whistles and she had all the stuff, but it wasn't coming together. Why? Because her mindset wasn't there. But that's not you. You will have the right mindset. You will be just like Lisa. You're going to attract qualified prospects. You're going to make more sales and your life's going to be so much more fulfilled because you're going to do all the things you want to do. So let's talk about three things you can do. Jot these three things down in your notes. Number one, there are too many leads. Put that in your notes. There are too many leads. You can't help everybody. Isn't that comforting to know that the world needs you? Isn't it comforting to know that your community needs you? Isn't that the reason you got into business to solve a problem? So there are too many leads. You or your company can't help everybody. Number two, number two, jot this in your notes, please. Leads represent hope. Put that in your notes. Leads represent hope. <laughs> If you want more leads, if you want more revenue, just look right below right now. Look right below and put revenue now. Just put revenue now. But first type your first name. Type your last name. Tell me where you're from. I'm going to send you a free gift. But first, just type in revenue now. If that's you, you want to attract clients because you want revenue now. You understand there are too many leads. You understand leads represent hope. No leads, no what? Hope. That's right. No leads. No hope. And then the third one, the third one, because we've got to track. We've got to track. The third one that I want to share with you is this. The list of people who don't know you right now, like that list of folks who don't know you, for those that are struggling to attract people, the mindset, the list of people who don't know you right now is so much longer than the list of people who do know you. So maybe in your business, you only got to focus on one area. There are three ways. Maybe you just got to attract more qualified folks by just shifting your mindset, shifting your belief system. And there are two things you control every single day with 100% certainty. You control your mindset and you control your actions. You control your mindset. That's right. And you, you, my friend, I thought about you today. You control your actions. So let's take actions today. Those are two things you do. I've got a free gift for you. They may be showing it to you right now, like, like right below it. It might be showing a way you can get free gifts. I got five gifts, but now I got to go on number two. I only have so much time. Look, Trevor and I are hanging out today. Um, we're working on our business. We're working with clients. And I just wanted to stop. I wanted to pause. I wanted to have a conversation. You and I, I want to have a revenue talk to help you increase your income, help you get in front of more folks. And I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. It means so much. And if you're here, look below. I'm going to go below. Just look below. Type in your first name. Type in your last name. Tell me what you do. Just tell me whatever you do. And we're going to share this. If this gets shared out to other folks, your comments will be shared as well. So tell us what you do. And below that, just put down hashtag sales courage. It's time for people to have the courage. Okay, I got to go. I got so much time. Number two. Number one was attract. Number two, revenue talks. Three ways you're probably wondering, Shay, what is it? Shay, what is it? Don't worry, I'll tell you. Number two, da-da, is engage. See, first we've got to attract the right folks to us. Then we have to engage, said a little differently, we have to get in front of people to share how we solve their problem. Now we have the distinction that people will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. You have that distinction, but maybe the biggest challenge is how do I get in front of them? Jot this idea down in your notes. It's, it's right here. I put it up here for you because I want you to remember it. Change your story, change your life. Put down your notes. Change your story, change your life. I want you to change your story right now around setting and appointments and think of it as a way to engage. See, you're going to hear what they have to say. They're going to hear what you have to say. You're going to share how you solve problems. You come from a place of service. Yeah, I know. You've heard it before, Shay. I get in front of more people. I get it. Sales is a service game. Have you heard that before? Sales is a service game. Sales is a service game. Sales is a service game. But I want to give you the, the Shea Brown remix version. I'm part of the Puff Daddy generation, right? So we like to do remixes of things. Here it is. Sales is a service game. So when we engage, we're going to serve others. How are you going to do that? Okay. A couple things we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do, I got three ideas. I only got so much time. I got three ideas. The first idea is I want you to have an appointment setting script. Like I want you to write down word for word exactly what you're going to say. For some of your appointment is following up with someone. See, that's an appointment. For others of your appointment is getting someone to get to your 
sales page, that's an appointment. For some of you, it's about having an opportunity to get them on a conference call or on a webinar. Some of you are still face to face. Face to face selling will never go out of style. And for others, it's on the telephone. It doesn't matter. I want you to have a script. Why? Because, okay, okay. I wasn't gonna share this, but, but put this in your notes. It's my belief that your results this month, your results this month will be in direct proportion to the number of appointments you set and you run. That's right, your revenue goal will be in direct proportion to the number of appointments you set and you run. You see, there's appointment setting, that's one skill set. I want you to get good at just having a script to get people to agree to meet with you. But ah, uh, there's another side over here, ladies and gentlemen. That's not the big dream, though. That's not the big dream. That's not the big idea. And that is, they've got to show up. You've got to be able to run the appointments. So first one is have a script. Because if you get in front of folks and you share how you solve it, they're likely going to close more deals. Number two, number two is have your list. Like before you get going, I want you to have a list of folks that could meet with you for the first time, meet with you in regard to generating referrals, meet with you to be a power partner, follow up from someone you had a conversation with before, or you're gonna start a new relationship. I want you to have at least those five lists in front of you. There's priorities in those lists, but see, if you have the list, you're just more likely to do it. Otherwise, you know what, I was talking to someone the other day, his name was Daryl, and you know what his list was? Right here in his phone, okay. Think about that, okay? You're gonna scroll through your phone and find out who you can call. Does that make any sense? Not you anymore. See, you're gonna attract the right people. You're gonna gauge them because you're gonna meet with them. And the last benefit here, number three, number three, here it is. The benefits of your appointment are different than the benefits of the product or service you're gonna be offered. That might be a $50,000 idea for some of you. See, just that distinction, I was working with someone, they were struggling to get appointments. And what I found out was when they were talking to the person on the other line, they were talking about the benefits of selling them a home. And you know what? Look, okay, okay, okay. Think, okay, think about this. You're talking to someone, and they're telling you all the benefits of buying a home, and they want to meet with you. And I said, you know what? I believe the reason you're not setting as many appointments, forget selling them something, but just getting in front of them, is you're missing this one piece. What's the one piece, Shay? Jot this down in your notes. The benefits of your appointment are so much different than the benefits of the product or service you're gonna be offering. So you really gotta get clear on why they should meet with you. Maybe you're gonna show up on time. Maybe they're gonna learn some great nuggets from you. Maybe it's gonna be a good use of their time. Maybe you're gonna walk them through step by step how they could purchase a home if they work with you and the connections that you have to help them. I don't know, but what are the benefits of the meeting? The benefits of you listening right now to Revenue Talks is you're gonna learn three ways to make more sales with less effort. That's the mission, that's the mission. But I gotta give you three keys. First, you gotta attract high qualified folks. I'm gonna come back and go deeper than that another time. Second, you've got to engage. At least you have the formula. See, when I got started, I didn't have the formula. Like I'm banging my head against the wall every single day. I'm working hard. I'm showing up at BNI meetings. I'm driving across town to go to networking meetings. I'm meeting with folks at Starbucks and yet, I'll be honest with you, the money wasn't there. Like this wallet that I have in it, these credit cards, they weren't going through. I had to file bankruptcy. I lost my home, I lost my car, and I vowed, I made a decision that that wasn't gonna happen to you. I'm on a mission. I'm gonna help 10 million sales professionals over the next 10 years really make more sales with less effort through the power of those fiber optic lines, through your help, through sharing and everything you're doing. This, this is about you. It's about me, but I've been able to crack the code because of the evergreen revenue model, which is the number one business strategy to help you really make more sales without your labor. Think about that. You don't work as hard, and yet you still bring in more revenue. That's possible. I'll get to that. Look, underneath these Revenue Talks, if you haven't met me over at RevenueTalks.com, head on over to RevenueTalks.com right now. Like, okay, look below, look below right now. Even if you don't go over there, type in your name, put dash, put revenuetalks.com, and then put the number one problem you solve. See, I wanna hear from you, I wanna hear from you. Just go right below right now, put your name, your first name, your last name, put a dash, and then put www.revenuetalks.com. There's so many conversations going over there, and it's all about revenue. It's for business owners, it's for speakers, it's for authors, it's for coaches, it's for network marketers, for anyone that has a part of their income tied to revenue. And then put what you do. Okay, I've got three. I said I would give you three. I'm going to give you three, and I've got a business. What is the small business owner's dream? Really, like, think about that. What is, what is your dream? 
I want you to make a commitment that you, you my friend, you're going to do that. This is your moment. This is your time. Okay, number three, number three. Let me make sure I got number three on the other side over here. Number three. Here we go. Number three. Da da. First, you're going to attract. Got it, Shay. Thank you so much, Revenue Talks. Then you're going to engage. Got it, Shay. I've changed my story. I'm going to change my life. Appointment setting is fun. And then number three. Dun dun dun. I don't even want to show you. Okay, just tell me I got to show you. I've got to show you. I've got to show you. Here it is. Convert. Ha ha ha. First, you attract. Then you engage and then you convert sales. So you attract high qualified leads. You engage your customers through the process by sharing how you solve a problem and then you convert them into a client. So you take a contact into a contract. And some people, they don't like the word convert. They don't like the word close. But here's something I want you to put in your notes. I, I, I put this up here. I want you to put this in your notes. Jot this in your notes. No matter what level you're at in life, the next level is waiting for you. So some of you are doing really, really well, but guess what? No matter where you are in life, the next level in life is waiting for you. You can still do a little better. Because I know one thing, if you woke up this morning, then you know this could be your best day. If you're here listening right now, then you know you have the potential inside of you to perform at a high level, just like I knew it. No matter if you're struggling or you're doing well, the next level is there for you. You can better your yesterday. That is possible for you. Okay. Convert. How do you close more deals? Shay, how do you do it? Number one, I want you to visualize yourself just closing the deal. Take for a moment, and this is what all successful folks do. LeBron James when he plays tomorrow in the Cleveland Cavaliers, or uh, Stephon Murray when they're there, the championship is game seven. It's a historic game. Um, Cavaliers were down 3 1. They've now tied the series up, it's 3-3. They've got to visualize that game before they play it. They've got to see the ball going in the hoop. They've got to see themselves performing against their defender. You've got to see yourself and the conversation on the phone, speaking. You've got to see it before it happens. So the first thing I want you to do is I just want you to visualize. Okay, you can do that. Even if you don't believe right now, I'm telling you, you can do that. Number two is you got to prepare. You got to prepare. Shay, how do I prepare? Well, I want you to know exactly what you're going to say, when you're going to say it, and how you're going to say it. And I want you to start thinking through the words that you're going to use so that you can practice, not so much to convince, because I don't teach those skills, not to persuade, I don't teach those skills either, not to influence, although my colleagues, they teach those, I don't do that, but how you're best going to say, look, this is how I solve your problem. Step by step, this is how I do it. See, see you can do that. You can visualize. You can prepare, and then the last step that I want to share, the last step I want you to do is I want you to practice. Yes, I want you to practice. Practice doesn't make perfect, but practice makes you better. And most folks, are, okay, talk to a number of sales professionals. I'm, that's, that's what I do all day long. I'm the sales cardiologist. Dr. King, if you had a problem right now in the business and you need to generate more revenue, you know what Dr. King, the primary physician, would send you? Voila, the Shea Brown. That's what a cardiologist does. I have a specialty, a specialty. And so by you practicing, then you're prepared. And I don't want you practicing on the client. See, a number of folks when I talk to, they're right there in that moment. They say, Shay, it comes to me through osmosis. Uh, Shay, I'm best on my feet. I'm, I'm best when I ask questions. Hey, you know what I tell them? Congratulations. Like, you're in the top one half a percent of people in the world that can do it consistently over and over and over again. Hey, congratulations. Most folks, they got to practice. Why? Jot this down in your notes. Because they need a structure, they need a system, and they need the right sequences. I just gave you five, uh, three of the top five S words. But they need a structure, they need a system, and they need a sequence. Let me give you one more that they need right here. They need the right script, baby because they understand that your words can make you rich. Jot that down in your notes. Your words can make you rich. Hey, I'm so happy to be sharing with you three ways to really to increase your sales results. You're going to attract the right clients. Yay, you can do this. You're going to engage. Yay, you can do this. You're going to convert. Oh, I'm so happy for revenuetalks.com. This is the right place to be. Look, if you're out there right now, I'm going to give you the big idea. You're like, Shay, I am so ready to increase my revenue. Shay, can you help me out? I've got five gifts. What did I say? How many? Five my gift to you. This is part of the giver's economy. I'm here to serve. I want you to head on over and text the word revenue, which you can see, text the word revenue right now to 
428-6333. Again, text the word REVENUE to 240-428-6333. You're going to immediately get five gifts. Then you got to head on over there. Look, look, the page isn't even ready yet. It's up. It's functional. You're going to get in right now, and you're behind the scenes. And I'm so glad that you're in. See, you do that, and I'm telling you right now, we're going to help you generate more revenue with less effort. So what is the big idea, Shay, as you close out? What is the big idea? It's my belief that small business owners, they have one dream, ladies and gentlemen. You, I believe this is you. This is certainly me. And right now, through the power of this broadcast, through our podcast, through our training facilities, through our digital university, we're probably coming up on contacting at least one million business owners all over the world. And it's been an honor and a privilege. And, and here's what I believe. Here's my back and hope. Their number one dream is... That's right. More sales, less effort. More sales, less effort. They don't want to have as much labor involved, but they want to solve problems. And you, my friend, my fellow colleague, you can do that. There are three things that I'm going to close out. i got something new for you. Three things I want to close out with you right now. Three ways. Jot these things down, you know. So thank you so much for joining. I know some of you have already texted the word revenue to 240-428-6333. Look, enjoy the gifts. I'm only going to keep it up for a short period of time. That site will be coming down. So if you're there now and it's up, hey, congratulations. Three things I want you to do. Number one is I want you to be humble. That means you go out there and you serve the best you possibly can. Number two is I want you to stay hungry. Always be learning. Always have that thirst. Always keep putting one foot in front of the other. And number three, you got to always be hustling. You've got to give your best effort every day. I love what Ray Lewis says. It's every day I work hard to see how I can be better than yesterday. Hey, shout out to Ray Lewis. Shout out to you because you're always hustling. Look, you, my friend, you are a winner. You're a champion. You've got so much greatness inside you. And I want you to know that I believe in you. I believe that you can make more sales with less effort. I believe you can attract, you can engage, you can convert. And even if you don't believe it right now, you say, Shay, you don't understand my situation, my financial situation. You don't understand my situation with my relationships. You don't understand what's going on in my business. You don't understand what these clients are doing to me. You just don't understand. Look, even if you don't believe it, why don't you tell yourself this? You put this in your notes. Put this in your notes right now. Shay Brown holds the belief for you. Because I'm going to hold the belief for you until you get there. Sometimes someone else has to believe in you until you believe in yourself. With that being said, my name is Shea Brown, the sales cardiologist. Make it a great day, everyone, and we'll make good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless you.